Okay, I'm going to be putting a full finish on these two speaker boxes. Going to be using brown, yellow, and some black paint to make a phony wood grain. This isn't the best pine in the world, but it should come out okay. Okay, I've uh, prepared a demonstration. I have two boxes painted differently. This one just has two coats of paint. And you can see the wood grain in it. I sanded between coats. This grain here, it's almost impossible to get rid of just by painting and sanding because of the hard and softness of the wood. This one, I filled it first and you don't see much green at all. Let's see what happens. I'm painting in the opposite direction of the original brush strokes. Remember, there's no grain. The idea is to get a flat surface. And put on a lot of paint, so I can sand a lot of paint off. Okay, I think it's too thin. been a couple of weeks. <laughs> Let's try sanding this. Let's see what we get. Let's see. 400 paper. Try that. About eight coats or six coats, I forget. I guess it's six coats of paint. A little bit of a blemish here has to be filled. It's flattening down pretty good. I don't know if you can see the high spots. Little speckles. Speckles the bright are the low spots, the flat areas are the high spots. We want everything flat. good here.
Okay, these are the two comparison surfaces. Mm -hmm. This is the one that was filled. I don't know what you can see on the camera, but it's much better than this one that was only painted. This took a lot more sanding. And it has a lot more little spots that still need to be sanded. I cleaned and sanded this. It's uh, not perfect. But anyway, we're going to use drywall filler. This is going to be a two, maybe even three step process. First step is to fill or cover, cover the whole thing. Don't worry about being flat, just cover. Same as doing drywall. Level that, get an idea of what's flat. Just like this. And that's it until tomorrow. Okay, this is the other one. This has the two coats. There's quite a bit on here. If you can see, it's a really lumpy surface, but it's level, basically level. So I'll send this. Yeah. As soon as I see wood, I stop. I used wet paper the first time. This time I'm going to use a screen. It's transparent, so air goes through it on a modified DeWalt sander. You can see the extra holes. This part has been replaced. So don't want a wet sand, you can always invest in this stuff. Keep sanding until the pattern is gone.
Okay. See the difference? I don't know if you can see it. It's completely flat. There's a few little dots, but I can worry about them.